There's a group of scientists that have spent the last several years trying to identify a way to reap the benefits of fasting without actually fasting. In this video, along with a series of videos following this one, I'm going to show you the science behind their achievement. In this series of videos, we will delve into how their nutrition affects body composition, fat and muscle. Then we'll get into how it shrinks the liver, the heart, and the kidneys. Yes, you heard that right. It shrinks them, but for what purpose? Well, I'll answer that. In the following video to that one, we'll discuss some amazing effects in the brain, the ability to learn, the ability to think, and how our brain cells move to the rhythm of the diet. Then we'll examine its role in extending our time alive, as well as its effects on cancer. There's a lot to discuss, but did I mention that all this research is in mice? At best, you're unmoved because you know that animal data can, at times, translate to humans. And at worst, you're hurling insults at the screen because you feel I've led you on up to this point. But fret not, in the fifth video of this series, we'll be looking at some data in humans, translating the information we glean from the previous four videos into a real-world application. So, enough introduction, Nick. Let's get to the science. The science of fasting mimicking diet, or FMD for short. The researchers designed a diet wherein people can still consume some food and yet experience benefits of full-on fasting. However, it isn't just about the food consumption, but the frequency and timing of the diet that play a role. The diet is to be implemented for only five days, consuming between 30 and 50% of your maintenance calories. That means the calories needed to maintain your weight. The breakdown of the macronutrients comes down to extremely low protein, around 10% of your calories, between 37 and 47% carbohydrates, and between 44 and 56% dietary fat. So it isn't fasting, but it's not like you'll be eating like royalty. But the added benefit is that it's restricted to just five days a month. So no limitations for the other 25 odd days in the month. So that's the deal. If you can eat this diet for five days a month, maybe even less frequently than that, then eat whatever you want afterward, what health benefits can you expect? Well, as I mentioned, these initial investigations show some incredibly promising results. As you can see in red, the FMD, again, fasting mimicking diet, animals experience significant weight loss. Granted, their protocol was slightly altered because they have a much shorter lifespan, but this optimized FMD protocol shows significant weight loss across time, with weight being on the vertical axis and age being on the horizontal. The hashed regions indicate the time that they were on their FMD. So you can see that up to a point, they were all consuming the same food. And at 16 months of age, mature adulthood, they began the FMD and bam, a sudden divergence in body weight over time. That ultimately also translated into fat loss. The gray bar is the FMD group and the white bar is the control or those that just ate their standard food to their heart's content. Total fat mass dropped, clearly. However, even more important is where the fat mass was lost. Visceral fat mass, or the fat around your organs, is associated with generally worse health all around. And what we see is a dramatic reduction in this particular type of fat. To get that point across even more profoundly, Look at scans of visceral fat found within the body, indicated in red. The FMD group experienced a massive loss. Interestingly, looking at their lean mass, which encompasses things like muscle, bone, tendons, and the like, there was no loss over time in lean mass. So this data strongly suggests a fasting mimicking diet reduces body weight, body fat, with special emphasis on the more harmful types of fat, visceral, yet even at such low protein and calories, maintains lean mass. But I imagine you had an idea this would happen because, well, let's face it, eating so much less will obviously lead to weight and fat loss. But 
I'll bet you wouldn't expect the results in the next video. Like I teased at the beginning, what if I told you this diet shrinks your kidneys, the heart, and the liver? Why though? This can't be healthy. Let's find out.